Hey friends, and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. This is again another video today because we have a couple new things in Cricut Design Space. I already uploaded the up offset video, so be sure to go over and check that out. But we also were offered our project collections. Now, one thing that I have to tell you that I'm kind of annoyed with is that they are only offering five unique title collections if you are a non-access member, meaning if you don't pay for their monthly subscription, you can only make five folders for your collections. If you are an access member, you can have as many collections as you want. I think the collections are going to be awesome, so I'm going to show you guys how to make a collection. Let's talk about project collections with Cricut Design Space. Project collections is basically like being able to make folders for your different projects. So I'm going to show you guys how to use that. But before I do, I'm going to explain to you one more time, even though I'm sure I already did it. If you are not a Cricut Access member, meaning that you don't pay for their subscription, you can only make five collections. However, if you are a Design Space Access member, you have unlimited collections and that Design Space Access is about $10 a month. I'll link it down below if you want to sign up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new collection by clicking new collection right up here um, in the left hand side, right next to where it says collections, there's a little plus button. If you click that, click new. Um, so let's make a collection and call it cards. You can call them whatever you want. You have 25 characters. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it cards. There's a card here that I designed. So let's go ahead and put that into our collection. Click these three little dots down here and all you have to do is click edit collections. You are able to put this into as many collections as you want to depending on what it fits in. So if I wanted to make a collection called cards and a collection called Valentine's Day, then I could put it in both of those collections. Once you're done, just click done. You can also go from your, your project, click edit collections and click new collection and then put it into a collection that you like. So we're just going to call this one pet projects. Create that and it will automatically put it into that collection and click done. This is going to be a great way to help organize things. I think it's going to work really well. So let's go ahead and add a few more things into my collections. So I'm going to put this into my Disney projects collection. I'm going to do the same thing with this one and then I'll show you what it looks like when you click on your collection. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a few things in there. That way you guys can see what it looks like because with one it just looked kind of boring. But I know I have a ton of Disney stuff so I'm going to go ahead and throw a few things into that Disney folder. But you can see how easy this is to edit everything. It's very, very simple. But again, remember if you're not an Access member you only get to do five options for your collections. If you are an Access member you can add as many collections as you want. So if you're not an access member, you'll want to really think about the collections that you want to do and what's going to work best for you and your designs. So now that I've added a few collections, if I'm looking specifically for something from my Disney collection, all I need to do is click on my Disney collection and it brings up all my projects that I've put into that collection. If you want to remove a collection, an item from there, just click edit collections and you can uncheck it. Now I don't want to remove that, but I could. If you want to delete a collection, all you have to do is hover over the collection, click the little trash can, and it will ask you if you want to remove it. I'll go ahead and remove the collection. This is a really great tool that we've been asking for for forever, so I'm really excited to spend some time and get all my things organized. It'll make my life so much easier. If you guys have questions about collections, about how to use them, please let me know in those comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time and I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my totally free newsletter at my website, CorinneBlackstone.com. I hope you guys have a great day and happy crafting.